hey, thank you to the Konami man for the 16 months. Wolf, what's up, Wolf Bros? Just got a new record player upgraded to a better one. Any album recommendations? Oh, jeez. For a record for player. For like vinyl records. I thought I was gonna be a vinyl guy, but after like four or five albums, I'm like, I'm not doing this. Here's my here's my thing. And I've brought this up to people. Oh boy. Before. I got a thing about about <laughs> record people. I mean, it's fun to collect physical media. So yes. like having a big record is cool. Like I get that. People who are like, it sounds better. I got an issue with that. <laughs> because most of the shit that you're listening to on these records, if it came out in the last 30 years, mm -hmm. it's being mixed and mastered digitally and recorded right. digitally. So you're just taking the digital recording. And you're listening to it in, a, in an analog. Yeah. So why don't you just take the digital recording and listen to it digitally? I understand the appeal of like, you know, the, the texture of the sound of vinyl where like you get the scratching and the popping because it does sound different. Yeah, but that you're just this is sh shittier. That, that you're you're shittier on purpose. It's it's like people who appreciate who watch movies on VHS because VHS has this very particular look and feel and aesthetic to it. It has a character mm -hmm. to it that you don't get on any of like the digital mediums. I I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's the pretentiousness of the audio files that are like it's the warmth of the. Of the it's like no, it's like that's not how it was intended to be listened to though. Yeah, you know. Also, maybe if it's from the fucking seventies, then maybe. Listening to vinyl records is not as simple as just buying a record player because you get into some of the weeds and this stuff. It's like you gotta get, you gotta get the turntable. You gotta get the amplifier. You gotta get the the power box for the speakers. I forgot what it's called. Then you gotta get the speakers. The preamp. But the preamp. That's it. But if you get powered speakers, you don't need the preamp. But you should never buy a turntable with an amplifier. No, in no, it no, no. You can't just get speakers without a preamp, <laughs> Will. You gotta spend fucking eight thousand dollars on the stupid preamp, and you better make sure that it's got a brand new tube in it. You go to Walmart. You get the you get the suitcase. Uh, turntables <laughs> that I, are like 50 bucks. I think we bought dad one of the suitcases. You bought dad one, okay. yeah. And then my old roommate bought one for himself because that's cool. I'm going to buy one. Yeah. Then he bought one and I had it. I was filming something in the apartment and I had it in a shot. The little suitcase. Yeah. Uh, Vil trucks or whatever. It was, it's, it's, I don't, I don't Vitrola know. Vitrola and Crosley are the two big ones. Vitrola is yeah. the couple. Somebody saw it in a shot and was like, hey, you should have spent more money and gotten an Audio Technica, this thing. And they sent me a link. And I was like, hey, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's not even mine. It's, <laughs> it's the music equivalent of, hey, I bought an Xbox. Oh, did you know you can build a PC <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. For, for more money, but you get a better game? Experience? Yes. Yes. Um, anyway, they asked what to record answer, we to should... To answer your question, honestly, anything made before the year 2000, like specifically anything from the 60s and 70s when vinyl records yeah. were important. So like a Led Zeppelin record or an Aerosmith record or a Kiss record or a fucking Beatles Beach Boys record, the Rolling Stones, older shit will sound the best on vinyl. ACDC yeah. sounds great on vinyl. Go to a thrift store or a record store yeah and just get one that has cool album artwork even that too because you can always that's the best part is displaying the album artwork yeah but also you could just get something that's that's crazy you can get some I just, wild i shit. just feel like you're gonna get the most mileage if you get something from the vinyl era if you get like a taylor swift record on vinyl or even if you get like like an like a nirvana record on vinyl it's not gonna be the same as like getting something that was made for vinyl back in the yeah. day. Yeah. That's that's my advice. Go classic rock. They recorded uh Nirvana on tape, I think. Yeah. But I you know, people mostly bought that on C D. Like yeah. it wasn't And it was made for radio, really. Yeah, it wasn't during the vinyl era. <sighs> Garrison says I'm being triggered right now. Good. I'm seeing a lot of people agreeing in the chat. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of people agree. 